Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause of the pastor, some time to think of something greater than ourselves. Um, this week, this coming Sunday, I'm kind of preaching on seeds, and um, the title of the sermon is Sowing, S-O-W-I-N-G, Sowing, S-E-W-I-N-G, and so so ing um, and I did not include this uh, story or this writing in my sermon, though I could have. Uh, I just didn't want to take all the time for it. And I thought it would be really fun for us to share. And it comes again from the UCC, our United Church of Christ friends. You know, God is still speaking. This is written by Quinn Caldwell and was first published last week on their daily um, thing. They, they quote um, 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 23, and they say, For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. Sounds like a good thing to me, huh? But listen to this. I think it's very cool. Uh, they, they talk about how back in the 1960s, there were excavations done at one of the places, um, palaces of Herod the Great, and and... Quinn writes, yes, that Herod. <laughs> and it turned up a bunch of 2,000-year-old seeds. And I had not heard about this. And they're seeds of the Judean palm, date palm tree. Um, and so in 2005, scientists managed to get one of them to germinate. The new tree flowered in 2011. It's begun pollinating other trees now which have begun producing fruit. Six more trees grown from other ancient caches are nearing reproductive maturity. Botanically, this is a big deal, I should say. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not going to be a Jurassic Park kind of thing, but we're, I'm good with date palms. Botanically, this is a big deal. The Judean date palm, widely praised in antiquity, has been functionally extinct for several hundred years. Most seeds won't stay viable as long as those date palm seeds did, this, one, this writer writes. That took some pretty ideal accidental conditions. And yet seeds do tend to be survivors. It's kind of their whole deal. They sprout from the places the thieving squirrels hid them. They float away on the winds of the storm that knock their parents down. They sprout in the wake of the fire that decimated their community. They survive the inner acids of the things that eat them and then use the pile of crap they end up in as fertilizer. Here's what the author of First Peter and I and a bunch of plant nerds in Israel want you to consider. I love that. No matter how you are or how you're feeling, scorched, thieved, knocked down, blown away, eaten alive, utterly crappy, a thousand years old, nearly extinct, it's entirely possible, maybe even likely, that something inside you, placed there long ago by someone who loves you and wills your good, is just about to germinate. Isn't that cool? Please God, he writes, please God, please, let the thing in me that I thought was long past surviving start to grow today. Amen. Goes on to say, by the way, that um, Quinn Caldwell, the author of that, is a father, husband, homesteader, and preacher living in rural upstate New York. Don't know where, but maybe I'll meet him someday. His most recent book is a series of daily reflections for Advent and Christmas called All I Really Want, Readings for a Modern Christmas. Learn more about it and find him on Facebook at Quinn G. Caldwell. So you might want to check him out. But I like that. Let the thing that I thought was long past surviving start to grow today. How are you feeling? Are you ever feeling scorched? 
conceived, knocked down, blown away, eaten alive, utterly crappy, a thousand years old, nearly extinct. It's entirely possible, maybe even likely, that something inside you placed there long ago by someone who loves you and wills your good is just about to germinate. Nice thought for the middle of winter, isn't it? We've almost reached the bleak midwinter. That would be a topic for another day. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause of the pastor. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. I look forward to seeing you next time, and until then, God bless. Pray for those things that are about to germinate. Seeds are indestructible. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>